Yo, what's going on? So if you clicked on this video, I think it's pretty clear by the title what I want to talk about today. But pretty much we're going to be going over what the plans are for the Hardcore After Maxing future series and just what's going to be happening on the channel. I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I've been thinking for a pretty long time about the things I'm going to talk about today. Now the reason why I put this video off until almost the end is because I want to be totally sure of what I decide I want to do. And because if I posted it months ago, the hype would die down and people would forget about this video and I'd have to explain everything all over again. But yeah, here we are now and let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is maxing. And I'll also have all this info in the description, but I'm going to be maxing Saturday, March 23rd at noon Pacific time. And I'm really sorry if that doesn't work out for you, but I figured that'd be the highest chance for everyone since it's, I think, 7 p.m. in the UK or just uh, evening in Europe. And then it's morning in Oz, New Zealand. Uh, and it shouldn't be some ridiculous overnight time for too many people, hopefully. I'll be maxing in World 369, yes, just like the sex position, haha, <laughs> in the Birth Orb Games Room. And in case you don't know where that is, you can take a look at where I'm going on the video right now, and yeah, that's where it's going to be. I spent a lot of time at the Games Room as a kid, so it has a lot of nostalgia and a lot of good memories for me, which is why I want to max there. And Herblore is going to be the last 99, so what I'm going to do is run to the Druid Circle from the games room after I max, get the Herblore cape, and then uh, go get the max cape from there. I will be streaming it on Twitch, and if you want to be there for the party, I'm on Twitch at twitch.tv slash wild underscore mudkip, and that's on the screen as well right now. Uh, I have been streaming most days for the last year now, in case you didn't know. Uh, although I'll be talking about what's happening with streaming in just a bit here. I'll also be posting a reminder for the party on Twitter, in the Discord server, and the YouTube community tab, and all the social media links will be below in the description. But now let's talk about what's going on with the hardcore. So I started this account right after I maxed my main, pretty much around the time I started getting serious with making YouTube videos, and the goal with the account was to max pretty much as fast as possible, but now this road to max series is coming to an end, so... What's next? If you've been keeping up with the videos, I think it's pretty obvious the goal for the account was always to max as fast as possible, uh, and that meant I never cared about PVM for the most part, and never really cared about ranks for the most part. Although of course with going for max, ranks just kind of happen naturally. And it's pretty cool, looking at it now, it seems like I'll probably be the 25th hardcore Iron Man to max. I never thought I'd make it to the front page, and it's just insane to me because I started my hardcore almost a year after the game mode came out. But after I max, I'm not going to be going for ranks or anything. Maybe if I made the account when Hardcore Iron Man first came out, I might care about that, but at this point, I can never be rank 1, or even the top 5, or probably even the top 10. Uh, but beyond just the fact that it's not realistic for me to get those ranks, I don't think I'd enjoy doing that. And I think the most important part of making YouTube videos that makes good video makers stand out is that they enjoy what they're doing. And speaking from personal experience, I think it's exponentially more enjoyable to watch someone who's having fun playing the game rather than someone who's just doing it because they feel forced or pressured by viewers or just by whatever's going on in their mind. And because of that, I've always just tried to do what I thought was fun or what I enjoy doing. And that goes for not just this, but every video and every series I've made. And I've got to say, I did have a lot of fun going for Max on the Hardcore. I know, Mudkip, how dare you enjoy grinding out skills? How dare you have a personal preference? This series that has defined my channel since pretty much the start is about to come to an end in a few days. But it's not really the end. It's just the end of the beginning. And I promise there's so, so much more to come, and I've never been this excited for anything in a long time. The first thing that's happening directly after I max will be a post-max series of the hardcore, of just going for items. And as I said, I don't care about ranks on this account really. It's strictly going to be PVM or skilling that I'll need for PVM, like fishing and cooking food, or smithing and chanting bolts, stuff like that. But everything I'll be doing will be activities that directly translate into supplies that I'll need for fighting bosses. I'm not the most experienced at bossing because even on my main, I did pretty much the same thing. I just went for max without too many distractions. Although maxing took way longer on the main, it was over the course of I think like four and a half years since I was in school and working over the course of that time. And pretty much I would just come home from work or school or whatever and I'd be too exhausted to do anything. So all I would do is AFK Motherload or AFK Zay Runecrafting or whatever for a couple hours a day since I didn't really have the drive to do much else at the time. All of my bossing experience came after maxing the main and after making the hardcore, and eventually once I got to the AFK stuff on the hardcore, I was able to do Slayer and bossing on the main during that downtime. 
I don't want to go over exactly what all the goals are for the post-match series, because first, that would spoil it, and second, while I do have a lot of ideas in mind, it is very heavily dependent on what Slayer tasks I get. Of course, in the post-match series, I will be going over each of the goals as they come up, but all you need to know for now is that we'll be going for items until I either die, or get all the items I want from the bosses I'm already comfortable with, or maybe some I'm not as comfortable with as well. This may not be necessarily relevant to anything specific right now, but one thing to keep in mind though as a hardcore, you always gotta remember there's a difference between taking risks and just being stupid. And a lot of hardcores fall by trying to take shortcuts, more metaphorically than literally, I should say. And I guess I'm saying that more as a reminder to myself, and maybe one day I'll look back at this clip and say, I should listen to my advice. Hopefully that's not the case, but yeah, that's just something I think should be said. As I said, I have been streaming almost every day for a year now, but the maxing stream will be the last one for a while. I guess this is more for those of you who hang out in the streams, but there's three reasons why I won't be streaming the hardcore PVM. First reason is because when streaming, it uses up more bandwidth, and that could cause a higher chance to DC. Second reason is because I get distracted by the chat very easily, and it's much easier said than done to say, just don't read the chat. Like, it won't work for me. And the third reason is the highlights channels, and I'm sure most of you have seen them and you recommended at the very least. Um, people who have smaller channels or who only stream and don't make videos usually like them, but for me, it spoils and ruins my videos, and it's happened a few times in the past. And there's so many of these channels out there, and there's always more popping up, it's just not worth the stress. And I can make a whole video talking about these channels and the pros and cons, but for me, it's a bad thing and just adds on one more reason why I won't be streaming it. So if you're someone who's been watching and hanging out or lurking in the streams, I'm really sorry, but I promise it won't be forever though. Now, when I either die or I'm satisfied with all the items I've gotten for now, there is going to be an indefinite pause on the hardcore series because I have a new series planned. For a long time, but even more so in the last six months, I've been going through different ideas I've had for future series after the hardcore, and I've probably scrapped like four or five ideas so far, but the most recent idea, which has stuck with me the longest so far, it's been a few months already actually, uh, this is the one that I want to stick with, and I'm sure this is what I want to do. There's been so many comments of people speculating what I'm doing after maxing, and I've seen it all, people telling me what they want me to do, and a lot of people telling me what they don't want to see as well. Like, hey Mudkip, don't do Air Restricted, don't do Ultimate Iron Man, don't make another Hardcore. I've seen it all, and unfortunately, I can't please everyone, which is true for everything in life. Here's kind of a semi-relevant metaphor. You may be the juiciest peach out there, but not everyone likes peaches. That's so stupid. <laughs> But yeah, this all goes back to what I was saying before. The most important thing when watching a video, in my opinion, is that the person you're watching is having fun with whatever they're doing. Like, you can't just tell someone to do this or to not do certain things because that's not gonna be fun to watch, right? As a video maker, you need to be very, very, very self-motivated to do things. And I'm 100% sure this next series is what I wanna do. And the more I think about it, the more excited I get. And every time I just think about starting this series, I just get really giddy thinking about it every time. I haven't even made the account yet, and I don't plan on making it until the day that Hardcore comes to that pause for a while. Like, the first video you see of the new series will be when the account's probably a day old. And I'm doing that because I want to just focus on one thing at a time, and because I also want to get feedback in real time and not be backed up with a few weeks worth of footage. This new series is going to replace what the Hardcore Iron Man series was for the channel, and I guess pretty much take the spotlight for what this channel is going to become. I want to apologize in advance because, as I said, not all of you are going to be happy with the decisions I make. It's just not possible, and a lot of people, I'm sure, are going to stop watching since they didn't subscribe to see the types of videos that I'll be making very soon. As for what this new series is going to be, I'm sorry, but it's going to be a secret until I post the first episode. I'm sorry if you're like hoping to see what it's going to be. There's only two things I'm going to say about it though, and the first thing is that it's not related to PKing. I'm so sorry, I know you're all subscribed to see PKing content and I'm letting you all down. Okay, and the second thing is that this is going to be a learning experience for a lot of us, and I think it'll re-spark a love for the game, at least for me that I haven't truly felt since being a little kid. I really just can't wait for it though, and I hope a lot of you stick around for the journey as well. I also probably won't be streaming for the start of the new series because I want to do a lot of editing as I go and really focus on making this series as good as it could possibly be. 
when I get to some grindy points early on, I'll stream when I can. But yeah, again, really sorry to those of you who have been enjoying the streams for a while, because I'm not sure when exactly I'll be streaming consistently again. By the way, this is a completely random and off-topic note, but I really want to go to RuneFest this year, because I had so much fun last year. Okay, back to the hardcore now though, I'll go over all the information one more time in case you forgot, and it's going to be in the description as well, but I'll be maxing Saturday, March 23rd, or Sunday if you're in Oz in New Zealand, at noon Pacific time. Uh, and it'll be in World 369 in the Birth Orb Games Room. And I'll be streaming it all on twitch.tv slash wild underscore mudkip. I think that's really all I've got to say though, and if you do have any other questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments. I'm so excited to start this next chapter though. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for the continued support just by watching the videos. Thank you for the kind comments, and thank you so much for sticking through with this journey.